Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Typeform with Zoho CRM. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at typeform.com or log into our existing account. Once we do that, let's go and create ourselves and uh, create ourselves an project a Typeform and let's go to the top side of our screen and click on connect. Straight away, we have a few apps that we can integrate straight through Typeform. And let's try to find Zoho CRM. Once we find it, let's go and click on connect. And we can connect after logging in Zoho straight to Typeform. We can also use uh, help of third party app. I've decided to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up, let's go to the bottom left part and click on seal categories. Straight away, we can pick, pick from a couple of categories or a couple of apps, sorry, but we want to start with a type form. Once we implement type form, it's time to it's time to pick its counterpart, which will be Zoho CRM. <clears throat> we have some popular integrations already pre-made by automate.eo here, but if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down so you can get to create your own integration option. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to go with the one and only option from Typeform, and on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with the Zoho CRM option. Now, all we have to do is click on Try It Now button. We get redirected to sign up page and basically just log in or register to our or to your automate.eo account. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a very similar app to Automate, but works a little bit differently. Straight away, we need to create an account here. And let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on Create Zap. Same as at Automate, we have to start the trigger with type form. Trigger event is one and only new entry. Continue. Now we have to log in to our existing account at type form uh, through Zapier. Uh, trigger setup is uh, in my case, type form test. It's the name of the project that I created. Continue. And now we can set up a trigger or test a trigger between type form and Zapier. Straight away, the second action. We should, as you probably thought, start with Zoho CRM. We have to manually pick the action event as well, but let's stick with the first one. And the last thing is we have to sign in to Zoho CRM account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.